Hip-hop star Lil Wayne doesn't ordinarily give interviews, but Nightline's no ordinary broadcast. A controversial encounter with the rapper is already getting major attention on Twitter. Here's ABC's Lindsey Davis. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lil Wayne. He's a rapper whose lifestyle has all the trappings of a bona fide rock star. I'm gonna marry him. He's my idol. Yo, Wayne changed my life with his music. Over the past three years, Nightline has been granted rare access to the reclusive hip hop icon, Lil Wayne. I'm a slave for your ear. I'll die to make what you hear great. Lil Wayne has been making music for nearly 25 years Lollipop. with hits like Lollipop, a mogul discovering megastars like Nicki Minaj and Drake. Lil Wayne, born Dwayne Carter, was first discovered by New Orleans rapper Birdman, who quickly signed him to his record label Cash Money. Wayne's first taste of mainstream success came with his electric verse on Juvenile's Back That Thing Up. His lyrics are crafty and calculating, yet raw and explicit. I know how difficult it was to watch us come up with our pants sagging and our shirts all big and bandanas on and repping street things and talking about guns. And every verse was about how I would run in your house and tie your parents up or something like that. And I was, I was, I sold a million records in a, a heartbeat. It was about lyrics. Mm -hmm. It was just about, it wasn't about what you were talking about, it was about how you was talking about it. What do you say to people who call your music vulgar, misogynistic, offensive, degrading? Um, no, if that's what you think about the music, if that's what you categorize it under, then so be it. All those things made me who I am, and I am a very successful man. Please keep looking out for more, because it's coming, baby. So your daughter, would you have any problem with her being called a or a hoe? Yeah, if they calling her a or a hoe, I have a huge problem with that. Yeah, but I've never called a certain female in my name out, unless I got a real big problem with her. Yeah. To say this father of four is controversial is an understatement. But the self-described gangster says he's often misunderstood. That would be the biggest misconception that I'm some kind of rude. I don't know. And when they meet me, they're like, oh, you so humble or whatever, whatever. But I'm from the South. I have to be respectful and everything like that because I have someone to answer to. And that's my mom. But Wayne doesn't really care what we think about him. He's unapologetic in just about every aspect of his life. What's your relationship with, with weed? Every day? There's God, there's my family, there's my kids, there's music and weed. In that order? Yeah. Our journey with Wheezy started back in 2013 at his own private skate park he constructed in Miami. How do you, a self-described gangster, end up being such a prolific skateboarder? I just fell in love with skating, plain and simple. The thing you love most about it is landing the tricks, landing them and landing them well and being able to say you did that. A few months later, he invited us to Amsterdam backstage at a sold out performance. What are you thinking about when you're walking on stage? Usually what's on my mind is just impressing the people. And I'm usually trying to fill the crowd out first. Let's go. Let's go. Being on stage for me is everything I ever dreamed of. I'm always at home on stage. Nowadays, Wayne has been making more headlines than music. Due to an ongoing legal battle, his completed Carter Five album remains on the shelf, which is why he says he chose now to release a memoir. Gone Till November is a diary that chronicles the eight months he spent at Rikers Island for an illegal weapon possession. When you look back at prison, has it been life-changing? I learned a lot about people. You are all on the same level. You are all going through the same thing. Everybody wants to go home. But outside of a jail cell, his celebrity status has clearly shaped his perspective. Recently stirring controversy on Fox Sports when he said he personally doesn't see racism because so many of his fans are white. I thought that was clearly a message that there was no such thing as racism. There was a lot of backlash from people about that. Would you change it, what you said, or no, you still feel the same way? What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? The idea is that there's this movement 
called Black Lives Matter, thinking that the rest of America didn't seem to understand that, that Black Lives Matter. It just sounds weird. I don't know that you put a name on it. It's not a name. It's not whatever, whatever. It's somebody got shot by police and for a up reason. I am a young, black, rich If that don't let you know that America understand black matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb man. My life matter, especially to my Do you separate yourself from it? I don't feel connected to a damn thing that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you do, you crazy You connected to this flag right As I'm connected, I'm a gangbanger, man. I'm connected. He ended our interview angrily. <laughs> Lil Wayne is in the business of making music, not apologies. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York. Really? A man who makes his living using offensive language offended by a question? Okay, that's one way to end an interview. This story's already gotten lots of reaction on social media. Please weigh in with your thoughts.